How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com. We're going to on Friday, April the 5th, as we get this video to you. And we're around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second today. Your free pick winner today is going to be between... Um, I have eight free selections for you today, which is exciting. It's going to be between Houston and Texas. And I got uh, you know, Atlanta, Arizona, White Sox, Royals, Oklahoma City, Indiana, Knicks, Bulls, Kings, Boston, Orlando, Charlotte, and the Red Sox and Angels today so a lot of uh, a lot of free picks for you today about eight free selections so excited to get that to you and uh i believe we won once again yesterday we, i think we gave you the mavericks under right and uh that was on twitter though and um i think according to the twitter impressions about over two thousand of you saw that so that's good i weren't i wasn't able to get a video for you yesterday but i was able to uh, to put it up on Twitter. But we won every single free play this uh, this week. Monday, we gave you the Cardinals. Tuesday, we gave you the Sacramento under. Wednesday, we gave you the Nets, and they won outright. And Thursday, we gave you the Mavericks under. So 4-0, 14-5, 17-6, 18-7, 26-12, and 31-14 free pick run. It's pretty good. So we're trying to make it five straight free picks winners for you today. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. And uh, right before that, tell what's up in our neck of the woods. We have a 16 in baseball selection tonight at 8 o'clock. Very excited about that. I think we're going to do quite well. And uh, tack that on with a four-unit uh, college basketball winner yesterday on the Seton Hall under, which brought us to plus 1750 in college basketball so far. Uh, March Madness, that is. And we have a six-unit Saturday college basketball selection as well. And, uh, you know, if we end March Madness around plus 2500 uh, or even plus three, you know, plus 2500 or so, we're going to be really happy. So uh, this will be our 10th winning March Madness out of the last 12th. Um, you know, NBA four unit selection today. Excited about that. I think we're gonna do well. NHL four unit selection tonight at nine o'clock. Soccer four unit selection at Friday at eleven o'clock. Golf seven unit selection that's been released uh, as well. MMA two selections eleven units on Saturday. Plus, uh, I think that's plus. It should say plus thirty six hundred on the year so far. All right, so let's go ahead and get to your free play selection today. And uh, I will have a special YouTube Premium uh, live show for YouTube Premium folks uh, at around uh, 4.40 Eastern today. So I know you'll be excited about that. YouTube Premium, I'll see you at 4.40 Eastern. And then I'm going to do another YouTube Premium for you tonight, uh, closer to uh, 10 Eastern tonight. So YouTube Premium is going to get hooked up big time. We always try to do at least two shows a week. This week we'll have three and uh, I will get on a consistent routine as far as, you know, the Tuesday and Wednesday nights concern for YouTube Premium consistently at 10 o'clock on Tuesday and Wednesday, right in the middle of the week to get you jam packed and ready to go for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, let's get to your free play winner today and I like the Houston Astros today. You have a two and five and a four and two team here. The two and, two, the two and five team is favored. Houston did start the year 0 and 4 against uh, after the Yankees uh, when they got swept, but they won two and three against Toronto. Uh, the bats are awakening here in Texas. Uh, won the last one against this team. Uh, Brown and Bradford here. Brown went four innings, four hits, and no runs against the Yankees and lost. Brown went one and one against Texas last year, but most recent start was on. Uh, he went four innings, ten hits, and three runs. And uh, I think what happens here, and you know, Bradford went five innings, three hits, and two runs against the Cubs, and he ended up winning. But I think the difference is, you know, Bradford had a nice start, but he got a little lucky there. And I honestly think Houston uh, is going to uh, play well today. Um, you have a pitcher that's obviously on a bounce back. Uh, you have a pitcher that has revenge from a last year's loss as well. Um, so, you know, I like the fact that, um, that Hunter Brown... Um, you know, he had a 5.09 ERA last year, and I think he has, sort of has a coming out party here. Um, he only gave up, you know, he didn't pitch bad against the Yankees. Four innings, four hits, and, and no runs, but two walks isn't bad. But I think he settles down here, and I think he picks up his first turn. I'm going to go with the Houston Astros, and I think the Houston Bats picked up last game. They're, you know, they put double-digit runs in two out of the last three games, and I like Houston here. Atlanta, Arizona. I'm going to take Atlanta on the run line here. Arizona lost the rubber game to the Yankees, but um, you know you have a four and three. Um, Atlanta lost obviously to the White Sox two to three in their last game as a minus one seventy five favorite. Uh, but the three and two, um, you know Atlanta hasn't lost back to back games all year. You have Henry and Str Strider here. Uh, Henry went four and six hits and five runs to the Rockies last time, which is terrible. And uh, he needs to come through, and I get that. You know, Strider went five innings, three hits, two runs, and he's going to try to help his team bounce back. I think it's pretty simple. I like the I like the Braves' run line. White Sox and Royals. I like the under there. White Sox are one and five out of the gates. They lost three straight to uh, to Detroit. I uh, lost one to ten in their last game to Kansas City. Kansas City winning some games now. They uh, they did win ten one yesterday. I think there's going to be a lot less runs here today. 
You have uh, you have a, a White Sox pitcher that went four innings, five hits, and two runs, and nearly beat the T- Tigers in his last game. He pitched quite well. Singer went seven innings, three hits, and no runs against Minnesota in his last game. Singer lost last time to the White Sox as well. So I think he's going to be motivated to pitch well. I think you have a White Sox pitcher on the bounce back, not to mention the White Sox as a team and a pitching staff on a bounce back after 10 runs yesterday. Give me the White Sox Royals under as your, uh, as your lean there. Moving on here, uh, as far as Oklahoma City and Indiana and the NBA is concerned, I like Indiana. I mean, I know Oklahoma City got throttled in their last game. Indiana beat this team by 11 points early this year, so I get Oklahoma City has revenge. And uh, But they're still an underdog here, and I get that. Oklahoma City's off back-to-back losses, including getting destroyed by Boston, uh, who had double revenge against Oklahoma City in that game. The Pacers beat the Lakers by 19 points not too long ago, okay? Um, So they can easily beat a good team at home by a wide margin. And uh, this is a team that comes off of a loss to Brooklyn, having just beaten Brooklyn. That was our free play not too long ago, right? So what you have here is a team that beat Brooklyn, and Brooklyn was facing them immediately on a back-to-back, and then Brooklyn got motivated. That's why they didn't cover the 7.5, and and it's hard to beat a team in back-to-back games. And then you have an Oklahoma City team. I mean, I'm sorry, you have an Indiana team that has Siakam and Halliburton and company, and I think they're going to get it done here today. Coming off a loss, it doesn't matter if Oklahoma City has revenge or not. Give me Indiana. Bulls-Knicks, I like the Bulls. Knicks won by 16 points back in January. Uh, Knicks just beat the Kings by 11 points. It was a nice kumbaya moment after Randall... Um, Julius Randle got injured for the year. And they lost three in a row prior to that. Chicago just beat just lost Atlanta by 12 points, so they're going to be upset. They were favored in that game, but we were on Atlanta in that game. Uh, they beat Minnesota as well. They beat Minnesota recently. Chicago, uh, Chicago did. They beat Indiana recently. Uh, so credit to the Knicks for coming together after the Randle loss, uh, meaning losing Randle for the year. But I think the Bulls having revenge and looking to bounce back here and having some play really good teams at home and beating them, I think the Bulls do well here. Sacramento and Boston. Um, I I like the Kings here. I know people, a lot of people are on Boston here. Boston beat this team 144 to 119 last time. Sacramento lost by 11 points to the Knicks last time. Um, they beat the Clippers and Utah prior to that. Boston just crushed Oklahoma City. Um, and I could see Sacramento getting crushed again, but I like Sacramento with massive revenge. They're coming off a loss. It does make sense here. Uh, so I'm going to take the I'm going to take the Kings here to get it done. Uh, and stay inside the number. It's a great public fade against Boston. Orlando and Charlotte. I'm going to lean on Charlotte here. Orlando has beaten this team twice now. It's hard to beat a team three times in a row. Orlando won by 20 points last game. Charlotte has lost four straight uh, coming into this game. Bridges and Grant William back for this game. I actually think Friday night Charlotte puts forth a good effort today. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, Charlotte here coming off a whole bunch of losses. And I don't think it's difficult to beat a team three times in a row. Uh, in a year. Orlando's still going to win, but I think Charlotte stays inside the number. Finally, the Angels and Red Sox. I like the under there. Boston just swept the A's, outscoring them 15-4. to Angels swept the Marlins, winning four in a row now. Five and two and four and two teams hooking up here. Crawford and Canning. Crawford went six innings, three hits, and no runs against the Mariners. He lost to Seattle about, and had a, about a four ERA last year. Canning went five innings, seven hits, five runs um, in his last start against the Orioles, and he got rocked. He probably bounces back here. I want to take the Angels here um, just simply because Canning's on the bounce back. But Crawford lost to the Angels last year, so I think both pitchers pitch well, and I think this game goes under the post of total. That's what I have for you guys. If you want to support our channel, be sure to buy our premium packages and uh, join our YouTube premium channel, and uh, which I'll see you in about uh, you know 30 minutes or so. And give this video a like and a thumbs up, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.